why you should use a PWM circuit instead of a potentiometer for motor speed control. Controlling motor speed is a very common requirement in electronics projects, robotics, fans, DC motors, and industrial applications. Many beginners try to control motor speed by using a potentiometer directly in series with the motor. Although this method looks simple, it is inefficient, unsafe, and unreliable. The correct and professional method is to use a PWM circuit. Motor speed control using a potentiometer. How it works. When a potentiometer is connected in series with a motor, the potentiometer reduces the voltage applied to the motor. Lower voltage, lower speed. Problems with this method. Power wastage is heat. A potentiometer controls speed by burning extra voltage as heat. Example. That means 12 watts is converted into heat, not useful work. This causes potentiometer overheating, reduced efficiency, possible damage, or fire risk. Potentiometer cannot handle high current. Most potentiometers are rated for 0.1 watt to 2 watt only. Motors draw high current, especially at startup. This can burn the potentiometer, cause sudden failure, make speed control unstable. Poor torque at low speed. When voltage is reduced, motor torque drops significantly. Motor may stall. Motor may vibrate or stop under load. This is very bad for fans, pumps, and mechanical systems. Very low efficiency. Large energy loss. Battery drains faster. Not suitable for professional or long-term use. What is PWM? PWM is a method used to control power without reducing voltage. Instead of lowering voltage, PWM switches the power on and off very fast. Simple example. Imagine a light bulb connected to a switch. If the switch is always on, bulb is bright. If the switch is on and off, very fast bulb looks dim. The bulb is not dim because of low voltage. It is dim because on time is shorter. This on time percentage is called duty cycle. You can make a PWM system in two main ways. Using a 555 timer IC or using a microcontroller. The 555 IC can generate on off pulses. A potentiometer changes the pulse width. The pulses control a MOSFET or transistor which drives the motor or LED. A microcontroller like Arduino, PIC, or ESP32 can make PWM signals. The duty cycle is controlled digitally in software, can read sensors and adjust automatically.